Luther box, computer lab, freezer, minivan. <laughs> Siete! Ocho! Alright, you have ADS? Is that how it goes? How hold on to uh, high school Spanish class? Let me check Duolingo real quick. Oh, check Duolingo. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Okay, seven. Ocho. Yeah, seven. no, you got yeah. seven. Seven wasn't the issue, Brian. Oh. It was ocho... Nueve. Nueve diez. Diez. Okay. Once, don't say, tres, say, catorce, oh, see? <laughs> Are we just gonna, let's just do the whole show in Spanish. The, the whole thing is us looking up, like trying to speak or uh, trying to count to a hundred. We should speak Vente different. Dos, Vente you Vente should tres. speak like German. I should speak Spanish, and we try to communicate with each other with different languages. The first one to reach a hundred wins. Episode seven. Okay. The prize I is. I count to hundred in Spanish. The prize is worst episode ever, which yeah. is not great. The prize. <laughs> the prize is terrible <laughs> listening enjoyment for the listener. Uh, what's your name? Brian. Brian. Oh, are you going to let me say it this time? Mm, What's your name? And I'm Joe Paisley. <sighs> cool. Um, having fun. How are you today? Uh, no, I'm not in place. Oh. Um, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm just, I'm fucking pumped, dude. Like, we launched the Patreon mm -hmm. and the amount of you honkers. <laughs> <Yeah>. Honkies? <laughs> you fucking, okay. Stop. Okay. I guess you can, can say we not that. say that. No, we have the right to say honkies. Yeah, we can say honkies. <laughs> honky, honkies. Honkers. Honkers. You just don't put the er at the end. No, so you don't say honkers. You say honkers. Hon honkers. <laughs> like a like a fucking toy garbage truck with Tonka. Yeah, Isn't that what it was. Honka truck. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, so many of those. You guys that have jumped over there and supported us at the time that we're writing this, we're like at a hundred, mm -hmm. and it just launched in the last twenty four hours, and that is fucking amazing. The gaggle is just expanding. I know. Can you imagine fighting a hundred geese? Yeah, <laughs> on a lake, dude. Yeah. They're well, and see the thing about geese is they can they can go on land and in the water, so they're versatile animals. And up. Yeah, and they can fly. I don't want to fuck with that. These are 4D animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they might be the most dangerous animal in the world. They'll travel dimensions. Yeah. Come back and fucking... Fourth dimension. Butt your butt... Or bite your butthole. They'll go through a wormhole. <laughs> butt your bite hole. Butt your bite hole. <laughs> They'll go through a wormhole, <laughs> bite your butt, jump back in the wormhole, and Come bite my butt. And then eat your bread. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. thank you guys so much for signing up. It means so much because... It's the number one way that you can support what we do. So the Patreon link, you'll find it in the episode description. If you don't feel like clicking on anything and you just want to remember it, just go to patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. Thank you guys so much. We have you tons. Just type it in the search bar too. It shows up. Right? Ad free, fucking early releases, get your name on the website, exclusive merch, all that stuff. There's three tiers, so go check it out. Uh, if you have something you want to see on the show, send that in to hey guys at can you don't podcast.com. Did you mention the shirt, the Hong Kong shirt? No, but that is an exclusive. You go ahead and do that. Oh, I just, yeah, I wasn't listening to what you're saying. That's fine. You never do. Um, there's a Hong Kong uh, Silly Goose shirt. With if you if you join the Patreon, you get a special code, mm -hmm. and then you can go to the site and be one of the exclusive owners. Yeah, owners of the, the honky. Uh, Silly Goose shirt. <laughs> honka. Honka. God damn it. I keep doing the... Honka what? Honka what? <laughs> so, uh, and yeah, Logan drew that up. It's a great job. He's wearing like... Um, the Goose is wearing like one of those funny... The nose and sunglass pair, you yeah, know, the fucking disguise, disguise thing. Yeah. Who who's that modeled after? I always forget. Like I don't who? Know. Logan, the originally, this, is, this seems like something Logan would know. Like all I can think of, Mr. Magoo, but yeah, I know the that's only person I can think of is like like Eugene Levy. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene Levy, <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, why not? The one that is on the goose and the shirt is modeled after Eugene Levy. You geese Levy. <laughs> you geese Levy. <laughs> Uh, but check that out there's tons more coming up again you can sign up on Patreon uh, and thank you guys so much for everyone who's done it now the ones that aren't or you know are looking for something new we have some new merch oh. we, uh, going off your fucking shit story yeah which was the first our introduction of people to Brian if you're coming over from Isby Dumb what a story what a saga and you had a, a, a f an experience in a Red Robin, mm -hmm. and we've decided to turn that into a shirt that you can get for Can You Don't. People are still talking about it quite a bit, so I'm having to relive that over and over again, the trauma. Mm -hmm. I wake up, 
Just hop in the group and someone says like, hey, did Brian shit himself today? <laughs> it's a good day if you do. One of the little markers on our Patreon that has our secret code, the one that we're not going to say right now, but to go find the secret code, at the bottom of it, it says, if you share this with anyone, Brian's going to find you and shit in your pants. <laughs> in their pants? Like pull their, their britches open <laughs> just and just shit, shit into in their, their pants. Going to shit your pants. Yeah. Which I think is fine. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I, steal funny. Their, I steal their pants in the middle of the night. No, no. Just, just while they're standing there, they're going to a movie <laughs> and you sneak up after like a fucking sweet taco bell run mm -hmm. and they think they're gonna have a great night maybe they just got a large popcorn they got a deal like a combo deal they got a they got a hot dog um like That's a big expensive. a big i know this is like 700 dollars. yeah and uh popcorn and they have a big drink maybe they got some skittles and they're paying they're about to get out of there do you want butter yeah of course i want butter you want garlic I'll butter your popcorn <laughs> you want garlic butter no thanks and before you know it you're running up behind them pulling their pants back and shitting in them and just filling them up have a good movie <laughs> <laughs> I hope the I hope the new Top Gun is great. <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would like. I I kind of like more the idea of like they're getting ready to go out mm -hmm. and they're they're like they're, checking themselves up in the mirror. Well, yeah. Well, no. Like they're at home. Like okay. I, I I sneak into their house uh -huh. while they're in the shower, <laughs> and I've and they're, they date. have an outfit laid out on the bed. Date night. Yeah, it's date night. Okay. So they're in the shower. They've got their clothes first all date. laid out. First yeah, date. their first date. Right. This is going to be real awkward and, for them. And dude, the connection was unreal. Oh like, yeah. Usually you don't get that connection on Tinder, right. and this one felt different. It's rare. It was yeah. like love at first sight type uh -huh. of thing. Great. And so they're you know getting cleaned up. Uh -huh. I sneak in through the window. <laughs> I find the, the, the clothes that they're going to wear. I shit in the just pants. Just shitty Santa? Yeah. <laughs> and I just drop a load in the pants and then slink out into the night and then watch through the window as they come out and they're getting their clothes on. They pull their pants up and my shit is in their pants. And just slushy in. Mm -hmm. Slushy into a nice pair of jeans. And I'm, I'm, I'm breathing on the window, going, ah, and drawing little pictures and writing notes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Honk, honk. And then I run off. <laughs> honk, honk, motherfucker. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. <laughs> right as fast as you can. A little heart. And, and you have to keep like breathing <laughs> on the window. keep breathing on it, yeah. Because <laughs> they won't look. Right. Because they're so disappointed. They're mad. You're like, the, the payoff is this. The payoff, the payoff is shitty Santa's yep. here, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, no, we have a couple shirts. We have the Red Robin shirt. So it looks like the Red Robin logo, but it says, uh, can you don't. But then we have the same logo, but it says Stinky Penguin. <laughs> so either option is available right now at canyoudon'tpodcast.com. Can you imagine if they were like, Stinky Penguin. Penguin. Ooh, pew. Boo. Boo. Uh, and we have, some, we have some stuff sent in. Oh, yeah, we're gonna hit. We're cool. gonna hit that real quick. I'm, cool, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna bend over. Ooh. Don't look at my butt. Okay. Okay. One second. Logan, can we get his butt on? Oh, no. Too late. Too late. No. Um, okay. So this was sent in. <laughs> Here's the note. It says, "Hey, daddies, I've written into Joe before about my son who's autistic, and he also loves clocks, fans, etc. My wife ordered him this book, not knowing how hilarious it would be. We all love it. Hopefully, you do too." From Adam Ritz or Adam Reitz. I'm He's going, got a little artist on his hands. All mm -hmm. right. I'm going, I'm going. Yeah. So the book, the book that he was sent in is um, The Big, Big Black, Black Clock. Clock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this was at my apartment. It's a jumbo clock. For the last like half, uh, you know, whatever. And my kids were like, what is, what does that mean? And they're thumbing through it. I was just waiting for one person to pick up and they didn't. So thank God. That means that my kids haven't found that part of the internet. Is it just sort of like if you read it and it's innuendo -y, you don't, if you don't have that sort of mind, I'm going to have to read it. Here's, here's one page. Can mommy find a clock big enough to make her happy? Oh. What kind of clock do you think she should get? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Next page. One second. We went to the store to look at all the different clocks. Mommy found the perfect one. It was a big black cock. <laughs> clock. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy says she has to polish the big black clock at least two times every day. That's how she keeps it clean. Oh. And we'll go towards the end here. Mommy sure does love that big black clock. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't vibrate when the alarm goes off. <laughs> bring, bring. And then this was sent directly to oh. you. Um, oh. This is a big giant dick. It says, I love you, stepdaddy Brian. There oh, you go. this is amazing. Yep. I don't know exactly who sent it in, but it's from Ship a Dick. Look at that. For the, for the kids at home that can see the video, it says, I love you, stepdaddy Brian. God, and look it's at a that. giant cardboard cock. <laughs> There's a bunch of stickers oh, wait, in there the as back? well. Oh dick? shit! And it's ship a dick. <laughs> ship a dick. I that's told you. Amazing. I told you what it was. Yeah, but I didn't. Now that I see it, that's amazing. And it's got a bit. Well, like you didn't trust me. Yeah, I thought. Look at that. 
<laughs> you've, huh? you've upgraded. Can I you like it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine growing that on your arm? <laughs> like a dick farmer? Yeah. Can you imagine having that and just being like, hey, um, I really like you? <laughs> and trying to talk someone into sitting on a fucking three foot cock. The good thing about having a small just the penis. Tip. The tip is the size of my thigh. Right. Just try it. But honestly, the good thing about having a penis is you never, a small penis, it, a penis, <laughs> is you never have to worry about that. They're never like, uh, Oh, sl- slow down. Stop. Mm-hmm. They're just like, is it in yet? They're like, please, free. Yeah. Ple- harder. Y- yeah. Can you <sighs> like throw another little... one in there? Can we get <laughs> Can we get your brother Do in here? Do you have a better friend? Can we get Joe in here too? <laughs> How hot is your friend? Get Joe's horse cock in here. <laughs> uh, you better get out of the way. Am I right? Coming through, brother. Anyway, enjoy I'm going to jo- put this right yeah. here. Uh, right, Will it, it fit right there? Yeah. If, <laughs> that's what she said. If it falls oh, off, then Jesus I don't know. Just put it some. Just there it eat is. it. There we go. Suck on it. Great. Um, okay. Well, that's pretty much it. If you want to send something in, the PO box is in the episode description. Not going to stay right now. Are you ready to go? Jam. Th- so they had to jam <laughs> this big old dick in the PO box. Huh? I, I had to carry it out of there. And look at what is on the on the <laughs> the cover. Look. It just says, fondle with care. Fondle with care. Oh, well, see, I didn't know what it was. I'm glad they put it in a bag. If you had to walk out of the... the, the well, Excuse me? <laughs> with excuse the, me? The mail, all the, the people. It's always like old people in the mail. Oh, yeah. In the whatever it's called. What it's it? got a post office. Post office. <laughs> 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 and the old people God mail. Damn it. The like old I'm people checking mail, the mail place. I'm checking the mail. Open it up. Just a fucking old guy. Just re- <laughs> God damn it. Always. Hi, Shunny. I don't have time for this. I don't have time. Uh, for this. When are you gonna die? Get out of here. <laughs> um, okay, let's speaking of that. Um, oh, what? Okay, stop it. Okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> hit on that in a bit, you son of a bitch. Logan, push the button. Hey, shut up. Start the show already. You wrote it, set it up. All right, this Big boy. This is a what if question, and it's from our illegitimate child, Eugene. Mm. How's, he, how's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> I never keep tabs on the kids. That's Un- your job. Understood. Understood. Yeah, we have twenty bucks in his uh, college fund. Yeah. Right, well, back. we put it in. We put it in something that tanked. Whatever. <laughs> whatever that was. Pick a stock that tanked. I don't know. Whatever Bitcoin or yeah. Whatever that's thing. not doing so well. Nope. All right. Go okay. Ahead. He uh, he said he just he wrote this saying it just got back from a bicycle ride. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Who rides a bicycle? <laughs> Eugene. My oldest son hits me with this question as soon as I enter the house. What if? There are two people who are conjoined twins, and one of them commits a murder. Do they both go to jail? Oh, my gosh. I found this one fascinating. Yes. It's, I mean, I'm sure, like, it probably hasn't happened, but this is like, it's not even, it doesn't have to be a hypothetical. It like, could th- happen. This could happen. Oh, and what would, what would happen? How pissed would you be? Yeah. As you're like, you did what? And then how did, <laughs> what if, okay, your brain is the one that controls like the legs. Uh huh. And then the other one is the brain that controls the arms. Mm hmm. I, clearly, I don't know how this works, but <laughs> I'm not a doctor. <laughs> listen, I'm not a math rocket sci- scientist doctor, but. If I was, what if you got con- one person had to control the legs? Come on! <laughs> yeah, look to look at what he did! Uh-huh. And they're trying to show you the terrible shit he did. Uh-huh. It's like, I'm not walking there. It's like, just do it! And they're fucking. Oh, God, there oh, goes shit. my dick. <laughs> <laughs> the dick fell off. Um, and like the other one's waving their arms. I'll fucking kill you! I'll kick you! And like they're just trying to. <laughs> they're fighting over just weird shit because they have different control over different appendages. I don't know how that works. Well, I wish I did because that would be a lot better. Uh. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine though, like in that scenario where you don't can, let's say maybe you control, like all you do is control one head. That's it. Okay. You get a brain. Yeah. So you, you know what's going on. You can visualize, you can see what's going on, but you don't have to control your arms, <laughs> any limbs. So the per, the one that does yeah. is like, I'm going to go kill somebody. Please don't. And you're just like, please don't do that. <laughs> we've, like, been, we've been through this. I, <laughs> you're like, no, I got, I got to do this. I got to kill somebody. Yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> I would hate it. That would be real bad for me. <laughs> it would look really bad for me. I just got done with school. Yeah. He, so this guy goes out and slashes somebody up. Ah. That per, the other guy will be an accomplice to murder, right? I he helped him. I don't know about just that. Being, just being there at the crime scene, you're an accomplice. I don't know how a child can join. And no, imagine, imagine taking a lie detector test. They sit you down <laughs> and they're like, did you, did you kill this person? You're like, no. <laughs> And like and you're, not, helping, you're not, not lying. I'm not being mean, but I'm picturing conjoined twins in the Olympics. Mm-hmm. In lanes one and two mm-hmm. are Julia and Rebecca. Julia and Rebecca. And they just fucking share the legs and run down the middle. Well, what if they 
if one of them, yeah, if one of them had <laughs> one side and the other one had the other side, and they have, it's like a three-legged race. Right. It's you like, have, it's you like have to tie you have the legs tied together in the middle. <laughs> Those are so hard. They're so hard to do. Ah. Okay, now, Fuck. okay, now put that into as their murder. Maybe they go on a killing spree together, Dude. and one of them, you know, they. <laughs> Okay, the one that does no control is the devil on the shoulder, yeah. literally. Mm-hmm. You can do it. Do you it. can do it. You Slash. can do it. If I had arms, I <laughs> if I had an arm, this guy would have been dead if already. I, if I control any of the appendages we share, <laughs> this motherfucker would be dead. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. I know I'm right. Now run. I know I'm right. Now run, Rebecca. <laughs> run. Oh, man. Okay, now here's another scenario. Okay. Let's say they commit the murder. <laughs> And they've gone to trial, and they were guilty. <laughs> they call one of them to the stand. It's like, just one of you. Like, can't. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Um, <laughs> they're like trying to angle the microphone. <laughs> the other one can't. Can you imagine? The, the guy's like, did you kill this person? And they're like, no. And the other one's going, yes, I did. <laughs> right. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. <laughs> just, no, just one there's, at no time. there's no <laughs> we in this situation. One at a time. <laughs> what are the, what, you can't, who are you talking to? So, okay, they go, they go to <laughs> now they go to jail. Great. Okay, so now as who, they should. Let's say the person that didn't commit the murder <laughs> controls the butt. Mm, like what? they have, they controls, have the feel, like they, they twerk for a living. No, they feel the butt because uh, someone's got to control pooping, right? Like the the <laughs> butt muscles. Man, I so, wish I knew more about this because yeah, we are so ignorant. There's to this. no way that one person doesn't feel pooping. Like, well, no. Let's say there's not two. Like, there's not two spines. Are there? I, I'm guessing there could be. Okay, let's say you can, both of them can feel the butt, but only one controls the muscles. Maybe the nerves. <laughs> so, like, one control can feel it in the nerves, it can feel the pain, one can, and the other one controls the butt. One, I don't care how it works. <laughs> one opens the All sphincter. you're doing is you're delaying what I'm trying to get to, and this is now they're I in prison d- getting delay butt you. raped. You delayed yourself. You're, you're throwing me here. off track here. <laughs> you're like the head. I'm trying to go this direction, and you're controlling one leg. Just kill him. I'm trying kill to, him. I'm just kill him, Brian. I'm trying to get to the scenario. No, and I want to be a good person. You're keeping me from getting to this scenario. Kill him. You're acting like that person. Fucking kill him, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're in Do prison. It. Do it. You're already in prison. Yeah. yeah. And here you're walking in. They're like, ooh, f- fresh meat. Mm, fish. You know, you're walking in <laughs> there. Isn't that what they say? To, when someone if someone new into prison, aren't, don't they do that? They're like, come here, fish. <laughs> they call them fish, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> Logan, don't they call when someone's new to prison, they're like, eh. they call them fish. They give them the uh, sucky lips. Uh, I guess I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know I'm right. And no, you're not. the kids are going to back me up. <laughs> Someone, if someone's been in, into prison, <laughs> have you ever been heckled and called a fish when, you, when you're showing up in prison? Fishy. Your whole, you've got your clothes and you're walking in there with your towel and stuff looking for a bunk, and they're like, mm-hmm. fishy. Come here. That's fishy, what they fishy, do in fishy. the movies. What movie? Every, every movie. What? You're such a. Okay. They did that in Prison Break. Okay, they call one them fish. Movie. It's a what? TV show, idiot. You're a movie. Go ahead. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> so now you're in prison for murder. <laughs> yeah. But you, the one guy, didn't commit the murder, <gasps> but you still have to experience prison. Mm. So now you're getting taken in the showers, you're dropping the soap. Which, and, I mean, okay, everyone, the pers- everyone has to shower. The, the one that did the murder deserves it, right? But the other one who was just the accomplice who had couldn't control the limbs is now getting... <laughs> I'm gonna stop Anally you there. I don't think everyone penetrated. In, I think sometimes murder is okay. Hmm? What? Oh, I didn't. I'm not disagreeing with you. Well, you said they deserve it. Okay. Well, okay. that's what you said. I didn't. I didn't mean sometimes it like- murdering somebody is fine in my book. If they did something that's terrible, you so can are you saying them. in this hypothetical situation, the butt the, sex isn't deserved? The, um, what right? these are called Siamese twins, right? <laughs> yeah, conjoined. Siamese twins. Conjoined, conjoined twins. Siamese twins are yeah. commit killed somebody that, and it was uh, if it was like it was over shoplifting, but if it was over something, they killed their dad. Go for it. It's like the Menendez brothers. <laughs> well, they killed they, their own parents. They, which is close. <laughs> so someone else killed somebody, and then they're like, "Fuck this guy!" Or a pedophile raped their mom, <laughs> their, their sister. <laughs> God damn it. This is why YouTube's not allowing us to... <laughs> this is why Listen, we're getting blocked on YouTube. AIDS doesn't matter. You know what I'm getting at. Um, uh, Do you say AIDS doesn't a- matter? Age. 
Age doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Age matters. Well, it doesn't anymore. <laughs> well, they're trying. I read a report that they might have it all figured out, actually, by the way. It was no one talks the, about it anymore, so yeah. <laughs> the, 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 it was almost the hooray. We're not all doomed, actually. Mm, that didn't okay. pick it today. So anyway, there's a, okay time for murder. Anyway, so go back to you and try to tell me about butt sex. Well, I was just saying, okay, when, when, oh God, now you got me all oh, thinking about, they, there's now a, they don't now deserve you're, this Now you're shower. frustrated with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I had this whole thing I was going to say and I Could screwed you it all Could you be any more rude? <laughs> you're so rude. I'm trying to get to sexually anally raped <laughs> Siamese twins and you keep derailing the God, conversation. The nerve. This is so inconvenient. The well, nerve. it's about as inconvenient as the, as the twin that didn't do the murdering. <laughs> right. Getting raped in the shower. You're right. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Say. Good. I'm the, glad you got so there. So the person that did the murder <laughs> goes into prison and sometimes you get raped. I'm not saying you deserve it. I'm just saying that's what happens when you go to prison. But the, the twin that didn't want to kill the person yeah. is now in jail getting raped mm. because of the the, t- the twin that did the murdering. So they really don't deserve it because they shouldn't be there in the first place. What but if, they couldn't do anything about it because he couldn't control the arms. What, the, if they, what if they like it? I'm not, yeah, maybe they do. <laughs> maybe they, I'm just saying. The visual of in jail with conjoined twins, where they find out one half is guilty and the other one's not. Mm-hmm. And they have a special cell where it just <laughs> divides them down the middle. Mm-hmm. The one on the outside of the cell, the guards are so nice to. <laughs> just given all the food they want, throwing birthday parties, they get a Christmas. <laughs> And the one on the inside is just in the dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fucking sad. Getting touched. Um, getting harassed. <laughs> All the things that and happen. Yeah. The, the, the guard walks up, like, happy birthday, and then leads or, or like leans around to the quarter. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> just screams at the other Not one. You. Not, Not you! Not you! Your birthday sucks! Uh, wait, what's that? I, um, solitary confinement? Yes! Imagine... Someone's in pitch black, yeah. and the other one has a birthday cake, yeah. and that's just how they live, which is a little bit of sadness, but also, you still get a birthday well, cake. Well, is it solitary confinement if you're both in solitary, because you're, you're in there with somebody else? No, you, it's half. The door is, like, sealed up. So how? If, if you're attached, how do you seal the door? Halfies. Right down the middle, do baby. They, so, do they put... <laughs> there's they a, have there's to a, construct a wall yes. in between you? It's a like light drywall cut-out door. <laughs> Where one person gets a little bit of freedom, and the other one is in pitch black darkness and sadness. And they just like hear the other one having so much fun. They're playing ping pong. <laughs> playing ping pong. It's so close they're, to you, too. They're it's, doing charades, yeah. and you're just fucking in the dark. Listening they, can to only do, they can only do forehands if they're doing it that way. <laughs> no backhands. You son of a bitch. What if, what if the person on the left side in the dark controlled the right limb? <laughs> They're kicking the fucking guards? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and getting the other one smacked? <sighs> God damn. You're like, you're like, it's kind of like you walk it up and kick it in the butt, turns around and gets slapped. Why'd you throw, it wasn't me! Why'd you throw your birthday cake? <laughs> it, it wasn't was, me! It was Steve! It was Steve! Ten more years! Ten, ten more years! years. Ten, ten more years. years! Ten more years! Okay, the last, last point on this. Okay. And now I'm going to move on. But I have to make it a little sexual. I'm not going to go that far. Let's say that you're in love with these conjoined twins. Okay. And you're a fucking, you're an ass man. Mm-hmm. Or you're, you're a boobs guy. Okay. You're a boobs guy. And those are the best. <laughs> they have the best set of tits you've ever seen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but one of I'm them. I'm turned on. One of them does not like you. The okay. other one oh, could yeah. not love you more. Mm-hmm. Well, how do you deal with that? One person wishes you were dead. The other one wants to have... <laughs> wants them to, w- wants them to have your babies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I well, just is hate that the phrasing? It kills me. I mean, is that <laughs> consensual? God, they have the best sentence. <laughs> imagine, imagine like sex. Is that consensual sex if the other one doesn't want to have sex? What I if, don't know. <laughs> what if you just stick to one side, one boob, one just bob? Work, just work the one boob. <laughs> just work the one boob. But if there's Good one luck. vagina, I never come. Yeah. Cause all I touch is one boob. Well, what I'm if not, I'm not fucking Harry Potter? Let's go back to the scenario where the nerve endings and stuff. What if the one that doesn't <laughs> like you is the one that feels the vagina? That's what I'm getting. That's what Logan's getting at. So yeah. whatever, whatever they feel, you are you have to focus on one lump. I don't know. I I, I just thought it was funny to bring up. And I don't have the answer. 
But one person uh, is always trying to talk the other one out of it. Like they're like they're kissing, and the one that hates you is like, he's not even that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're wasting your time, Rebecca. <laughs> Just talking in her ear right? the whole time. Shut up. She's like, <laughs> shut up. I'm trying to enjoy this. But, but also you, you'd be like, shut up. <laughs> you'd be like pushing their head away, like, shut the fuck yeah. up. I've never had a three way before. Shut up. <laughs> right. You're making me nervous. I mean, that's like a kid. He, he, he can never get it hard because you're always here. <laughs> that's why I can never get it up. Freaking guy can't please a woman. <laughs> Trying to please two women. No, I can't please you're, two. You're trying to well, please two please women. Shut the fuck up. I can't even please one, let alone two. <laughs> is that a three way or is it a two and a half way? Dude, that's a two way with a fucking an, a hater. That's like a, 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 a hater on the side, which I don't even know if that's possible. Think about it not even being joint twins. You're trying to like make out with someone or have sex and there's someone on the sidelines booing you and, mm-hmm. and being like, you are the worst. Oh, That'd be awful. Oh, now you go down on her. Yeah, Should have done that yeah, five minutes yeah. ago. Like, God, fucking shut up. Well, I mean, imagine like having a three way with your wife or whatever, and then you're in, you bring in someone, mm. and then you're what you're going with the other chick, and your wife's like, she goes and sits in the chair because she's <laughs> not getting any attention. So and now she's just over in the corner, like, you never do that with me. You should have folded the laundry. Mm-hmm. What? And you're like, I don't, <laughs> dude, that'd be the worst. If you got talked into a threesome mm-hmm. that wasn't your <clears> doing. <throat> And then in the middle of it, it fucked everything up. You're like, I didn't want to do this. Yeah. And that I know that happens. I have a buddy that has happened to where they got drunk and he was talked into it. And she got mad and they fucking broke up over it. And he didn't mm. want to do it in the first place. Yeah. She thought she liked it. And then she saw it and she goes, I don't like this. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it was all just a test. It just bailed up. No, they're best friends. They're still friends. He just got fucking left in the dust. It happens. That anyway. just seems like a, that seems like a shitty I know, deal. It's but, like, you wanted me to do this. This was my birthday present. But I get it. I saw a Jerry Springer episode of that <laughs> very scenario. And it's totally real. That's why Go I, ahead. no, that's why I was, I brought this up because I just saw this, <laughs> this Jerry Springer and it was the thing that. That scenario happened. The other one walked away and she was watching the other two go at it. Mm. And then they started plowing on the side Mm. and they were keeping it secret. Mm. So the chick wanted to have a threesome for her husband to kind of give him a birthday present. And he's like, and then, yeah, then they started banging (laughs) and then the, the, she was left out and she did all, she was like, I do all your laundry. I, I I do your dishes. I clean your house and you out fucking her. Yeah. Well, what do you say? He was just like, mm, yeah, you yeah, fucking betcha. <laughs> That's basically what it is. You betcha is the kid mine? Yeah. I'm not even pregnant. Well, then fucking get out of here. <laughs> just uh, like, isn't that what we're doing? It's like some <laughs> weird, I'm not the dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he starts clapping <laughs> for himself. <laughs> Jerry's like, oh, what? The crowd's like, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Oh, my Jerry beads. Starts that, flashing the camera. And that was the last episode Jerry Springer's ever done. <laughs> um, okay. So <laughs> that I think we fun. explored that. I think we figured that out. <laughs> we sure did. Let's move on to what do you think? And about? if there are any conjoined twins, let us know. No, please do how ignorant we are and i'd like to see the email if one of you controls each hand <laughs> you, one of them's going don't send that in you're, you're like they want they they want to hear this don't nobody touch, wants to hear don't this. touch my side of the keyboard <laughs> it's just fucking it's only half the letters yeah. as they send it in <laughs> they have to <laughs> yeah. <I'm> wait, <laughs> you're waiting for the other person to type and they're not so it just goes shut, 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 shut. what does m-o-p y v-k-l-h j mean <laughs> She's like, save me, I'm homeless. He's like, I can't, I don't know what the fucking other letters are. <laughs> okay, Logan, go ahead. Did it, baby. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Uh, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? Whew, I hope that was as fun for <laughs> everyone I'm still else as thinking it was for about us. That. Okay, so what are you thinking about is not going to be fun out the gate. Not oh, as, we were going to do a contrast situation? Yeah, not as fun as that. Okay. Because I've been getting a lot of messages, and I made a post about it before we recorded this episode, because as you know, we record in advance. But the last episode we recorded talked about me hopping on an airplane a couple hours afterward to head home and go visit my dad because he wasn't doing well. Turns out he was not doing well at all. Um, so my dad passed away. It was a few hours before I was able to get down there. and I, But I'm thankful that... My brother and my sister were down there, but my sister was like right next to him, like holding his hand. That's good. And because of the way things were going, he's having trouble breathing. He wasn't swallowing food and water at that point. So we're trying to all get down there as fast as we could. Um, So she was holding his hand. And I guess as far as dying goes, she said she woke up because he went, (gasps) and then she was like, dad. And that was it. So like, there was no, there's no pain. There was no panic. 
and he just passed away. So as far as that goes, I think that's pretty much best case scenario. Yeah, I would um, imagine. But man, so I got down there. Like I said, I was I was late to the party. Showed a shitty party. Uh, <laughs> what a fucking. What you a walk let- in with the beer. <laughs> hey guys, got the beer. Just a fucking thirty of stones. <laughs> <laughs> got the keystone eyes. <laughs> got a fucking beer bong where's dad um, you missed him dying because you stopped for beer <laughs> it's a long line at the fucking shitty grocery store you better store. get here joe you better get I'm here i'm coming i'm waiting in line this guy in front of me <laughs> i'm not showing up empty-handed <laughs> this guy's buying he's trying fucking, to buy cigarettes they buying, don't have his kind they don't have his kind they don't have the longs <laughs> they don't have the menthols I've been in here for 15 minutes. Uh, no, so it wasn't that, but he, um, so I showed up and luckily, you know, I'm not, sh- I'm just, I know there's people that have been through this. I don't think that you've been through this. I don't think Logan's been through this. Um, but like he passed away and you get to keep his body like it's a fucking souvenir, uh, in or around for up to 24 hours before the coroner has to show up and take it away. Wait, are you saying you get to like? I don't. It's a, yeah, well, you get to in my sense because I was late and I wanted to right. still see my dad. Uh, so they kept him in his bed until I got there. In my, that is one of the trippiest experiences I have ever been through. Uh, my dad is a big snorer, so like he's just laying there. It looks like he's just fucking snoring, but uh, he's not. <laughs> And they're, it, it, it's like, they're so cool. I know, I know there's people out there that have experienced this. You know what I'm talking about. They're just, they're, it's, it's so weird to touch, like not just his hands, but like you touch his head and it's just fucking ice cold. It is surreal. It, you're like, whoa, like it, it's, I can't, I can't really explain it. So anyway, um, I talked to him, uh, or I talked to his body. I, I'm sure he's still around. I mean, he's, you know, there were signs when we were all hanging out that he was still there. There was some stuff happening, but besides that. They're, um, you know, talking to him and, you know, whatever things that I didn't get to say in the last moments. Um, and so all that got done. I walked out of there. We hung out with some family for a little bit and then we had to call the coroner to come and get him. Right. So they come and get him, and it's some old man. Like, I'm not sure how he made it in the house. Like he is so old. He's like, gotta be at least 90. And I'm like, how are you getting this body out of here? And they have like the, um, what's it called? The gurney. So you load him up onto the gurney and one of the craziest experiences was rolling like my dad's body out of his own house. Mm -hmm. And it was so, it like, everyone was crying. The uh, the corner was crying. Like it was this whole thing. Right. So as I'm standing there and because I'm fucking just twisted and I don't know how to be way too serious, we're pushing him out of his shop where he has made his entire living. It's this beautiful, gigantic wood shop where he has made things for fucking Bruce Willis and fucking, Whoa. Uh, God damn it. What's his name? The fucking actor from Travolta? Big. Big. Oh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. He's made shit for Tom Hanks, right? So he's done all the Steve. Um, God damn it. Miller. Steve Miller. I have, oh, his, I, have, I have his amp down I just, here. I just I used, guessed. To, I used to mow Steve Miller's lawn. That's awesome. The fender I have out there is Steve Miller's. Did you know that? Did you take the money and run? <laughs> Thanks, Logan. Logan thought that was great. <laughs> no. Apparently you didn't. No, I'm just a joker. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, that was maybe the greatest reaction ever because you were stone cold silent. I was stone cold uh, Steve Austin. Logan Steve. <laughs> <laughs> did you crush those keystones? Like <laughs> I, I the did. stone? Did it? Did you, did it keep cold? Hey, anyway, so we're rolling them out of the shop, right? It's just all these memories, all these feelings. And as I'm rolling, we said our goodbyes. And then they do that thing where they pull, like, it's all real. They pull the sheet over his head. Mm. It's just like the movies. And you're like, fuck, that's the last time I'm seeing my dad. Mm -hmm. Right. So they pull the sheet over and they're rolling them out and we open the garage door and we roll them out. And as I'm helping roll my dad out, I look up and (laughs) We're putting him in a fucking Dodge minivan, right? And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, this is not, this is not, this guy's a fucking legend. And I'm rolling him and helping lift him into a fucking minivan. Like, I'm glad he fits. Can you scoot the passenger seat forward so I can fit my dad in? Like, it should be a gold plated limo. Like I did not did it have back that. seats like a or they were it cleared it down. It's a like well, who's an van was it? The guy who was crying, the old guy. Was, it was just his personal. It was van? his. Co- I don't know. I did he take it to get it 
Ray, clean Brian, afterwards? Brian didn't have a chance to ask him. <laughs> Wasn't important at that time where I'm pick, picking him up and lifting my dad in and go, hey, bro, is this your minivan? <laughs> no, I didn't ask him. Imagine after after <laughs> and he, he goes no after he was done working for the day he gets he takes it to like a um puts it in car like a, wash. a new fucking Bronco <laughs> <laughs> like a, a bad like a like a new fucking sweet car. It's in a Lamborghini as his personal car. Can we load my dad in, please? <laughs> no, I, was just I don't thinking care. If he, he had to, to go. Up. He had to go get it cleaned out. He's oh. like, hey, sorry, there was a there was a body, a body in here. Can you do you have anything that, like cleans? <laughs> He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just open all the doors and we'll roll you through the car wash. <laughs> uh, no, but that was so weird. It was such an emotional moment, emotional day. I mean, it's still emotional now. As we time we record this, uh, my dad was actually buried today. So he was, which is um, how weird life is. I don't know how you're saying this without. Well, because I've already had it. I've yeah, already been just, through it. I've already cried it all out. Ugh. Quit trying to make me cry, you asshole. And uh, today's also my mom's birthday. So it's like this weird. It just life has all these weird coincidences. Um, but anyway, so we were rolling them out. It was this crazy moment. Everyone's losing their shit. And I was like, God damn, dude, putting you in a fucking minivan. <laughs> I fucking, I hate this. I don't even know what better. I don't know. I don't know what I expected. But in that moment, I just expected <laughs> like a cooler thing to put my dad in. And it fucking <laughs> killed me. Well, Not I mean, literally. I, I can't think of like. God what damn. that thing would be that would be like that the perfect thing but i know it's not a dodge caravan <laughs> dude it's not, it's, not <laughs> it's not a fucking astro van dude <laughs> it's like they're dude. moving the kid toys dude. into the into the back and like moving stuff over like and like the back had the auto closed i'm like this is what is fucking going on and i guess watch his body disappear with like a fucking backup noise like, beep 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 and i was like why the dude? guy's driving off smoking and a like, cigarette yeah, i'm hugging my stepmom 2.0 my second stepmom and we're uh like we're just hugging and crying i'm with his brother my uncle and we're just crying in the fucking garage and i'm just hearing this beep beep <laughs> as fuckface pushes the auto close on his minivan dude <laughs> and i just could, i couldn't help it everybody watch like, your head <laughs> out of the way please excuse these <laughs> like he uses the the, the kick lift gate like, he doesn't even have the time to reach up and push the button. He just waves his foot under the back so it can close <laughs> automatically. Anyway, bye! I, I imagine, like, they're putting him in there, and then they, they grab the seatbelt and have to put the seat <laughs> on and, like, reach over to connect like the seatbelt. Like some kind of weird fucking regulation. We gotta we scrap can, him down? We can't have a oh loose, a loose God. body. <laughs> Dude! This is technically a trans. God! Like, it, it, it falls under the certain <laughs> laws of, like, of whatever. Of people oh, things? Yeah. Transportation movement. <laughs> moving person you get pulled things. over and the cops like <laughs> is he the wearing, person is, is, is he wearing, is he a, seat wearing a seat belt uh <laughs> don't think it matters does that qualify for the carpool lane <laughs> yeah. oh, i hate you guys you the, guys are the worst. i don't want to do this you did it i don't want to joke about this <laughs> i'm not i didn't say anything besides minivan <laughs> You fucking assholes! What would what would you like to get picked up when you die? What oh would you like man, to get up I'd in? like a fucking V10 Hummer limo. Imagine rolling. Th- the, <laughs> imagine the corner guy that picked him up. He's like he had to stop because he was hungry before he gets back to the place, and he he pull, he pulls up into the drive through. And then, and like out of instinct, he thinks that someone's in the back anything seat. You want you, anything for you? Oh shit! I'm <laughs> oh, just kidding. It's just his joke, like some weird, for himself. Weird yeah. pickup line. He's one of those. He goes, I'll, I'll get number one. Anything for you, Jim? <laughs> oh no, he's fine. He's dead. And they're like, what? Like that's not. He's one of, like those guys that just they're by themselves all day. That, like they just or he orders more than he needs, but he's going to eat both of right, them. Right. We'll, we'll, no, we'll get two number twos. Uh, we got somebody in the back. He's, like, he's motion sickness. He's just laying it's down. It's like porn went out for my homies, oh but he's eating God. a cheeseburger for <laughs> food for my dad. God, how disrespectful. Minivan <laughs> and then eating an extra cheeseburger he ordered for my dad. He's just listening like Def Leppard, smoking a cigarette, oh, eating, eating McDonald's on the way back Going to the... 90? <laughs> like he has nothing to live for. My dad clearly doesn't. No, but he my dad... He the brakes and he does the old chest <laughs> really stop thing. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Habit. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness my dad was I fucking amazing so my dad was absolutely amazing he was so eccentric he was so original he never like did anything even down to his work 
that was anything like whatever someone else was doing he's like well i'm not doing that yep and he would find a new way to do it um why do people like that have to die i don't early. know man it's I mean, just so dumb and he was so active like he was the guy there was multiple times that uh growing up he would call me here's one of the times i was heading out I, i'm not sure if i was like sports thing or trying to go out and hang out with friends and he calls me up and i pick up my phone i had like a landline in my room <laughs> i don't mm-hmm. know i thought it was like a fucking girl trying to bang i pick it up he goes joe like, yeah, he goes, hey, hey, I'm sorry. Um, hey, this is my voicemail. He goes, hey, um, I'm in Fairfield. I'm like, what? Fairfield is fucking 57 miles away. And he goes, I started riding my bike out of Canyon. I figured I'm just going to go over the top of this. And I got over here and I'm too, too tired to get back. So on a random fucking Friday, he just took off and rode his bike 47 miles into the mountains and ended up in some mountain fucking town. I was like, God damn it. Did you have to go pick him up? I had to go drive out there and pick him up. What'd you, what did you drive out there and pick him up in? My childhood car was a white Subaru hatchback. Me and my brother were sharing at the time. But that was like multiple things. <laughs> no, God damn it. And there's like multiple tiny towns I've had to pick up my dad from because he just can't stop riding his bike for fucking 60 miles. So, so active. Uh, it never slowed down. He can never just sti- like just sit still, and then yeah, he gets fucking brain cancer. I mean, that's just in, so in dumb. Op- I know it's fucking unfair. And he never like he stopped drinking thirty five years ago. Like did no drugs, and it's like cool. It's like I'm gonna make sure I don't I'll make sure I make it and hang out with my grandkids and all that kind of shit. And then gets his fucking brain cancer. Cancer is f- so dumb. Yeah. Um. So anyway, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking about. Is that cool? Yeah. That was was that, that fun. For no, you? no, not really. Cool. Not really. All right. I mean, um, I'm glad you got that off your chest. And, but, uh, and thank yeah. you to everybody who has written in and, you know, said either they've been through something similar or sending their condolences and sorry for your losses. So thank you so much for sending that. In. It does mean a lot. Uh, anyway, not speaking to my dad. You want to see my dick? Yeah, that's a nice transition. Yeah. yeah, let's transition. About as good as it can be. To your wiener. <laughs> Logan! Is it dumb? Is it interesting? <sighs> that was actually way fun, more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. That was way funner than I thought it was yeah. going to be. He's like, I knew that was going to be fun talking about my dad, but woo. I said, trust me. I said, you're like, I don't think we should, that's not very funny. I'm like, we'll, we'll make well, it through, baby. I know we could make it funny, but I just didn't want to. Well, clearly. Clearly you but didn't. We were clearly, go, you, clearly you had a real hard time making you, that funny. Well, Brian. I can make anything funny. How I did just you? Didn't how did you to. do it? How did you manage to make fun of my dead dad? <clears throat> I'm, Logan and I were talking about this, and this is. I mean, again, it's sad, and I'll move on. But we recorded that episode, and it was like hours later. The one last week, my mm-hmm. dad. Died. Yeah, you texting. You're like, I know. Uh, sorry, guys. I hey, know. My dad died. And we we're like, like the fucking last thing we said was like, hey, Logan, you know who liked that joke? Your mom. Mm-hmm. You said to my dad, and I was like, <sighs> and like I thought about that later. I was like, oh my god. So bad. Again, he doesn't know. Like, I mean, fucking, he didn't know yeah. what the fuck was going on on the final months of his there's life. There's an orb flying around in here. <laughs> yeah, from come punch you in the fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my story. I came across this story actually a while back, and I just haven't found the right time to bring it in until right now. <laughs> and apparently, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Woo! Lakota school board member accidentally posts porn link while advocating for abstinence. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that last week I had the story about the um no oh, the mayor the yeah, mayor the drunk that, driver yeah went and visited the family that had a daughter that died of drunk driving and then got fucking busted for drunk driving later that that later it was that the day. exact same story kind of with porn but with porn and I think the lesson here is the people that are in charge of running either any sort of position in office uh, local or in the government are fucking idiots Mm -hmm. and they're no better than you and if you ever think that you can't challenge them or are better than them or smarter than them you're fucking wrong and they live a lie they just decided to go do something and they fucking won you can do it too so if you're not a piece of shit and you want to change something locally or on a national level go run for I think you kind of have to be a piece of shit though those are they're the ones that win right (laughs) because they're not they don't have care about the other opposition yeah they just don't give a shit but you could be a dickhead for a bit but if you can snap out of it and actually change your community that's that's cool yeah that, i mean that's be ideal yeah that's always great but i don't want to do that okay so check this out the Laco- lakota school board on wednesday voted four to one <laughs> to uh, uh what's that censure 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 a board censure. member the yeah, censure a board member for posting on facebook a link that led to inappropriate sexual content a separate motion passed requesting that the board member darby Bodie resign immediately so 
So here's what happened. It was a four to one vote. Yes. Why wasn't it five zero? Because I don't. Did she get the vote? Yeah. Bet, yeah. Uh, so here, here's the skinny on this shit. So she had this whole post talking about critical race theory. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if that tells you like where things are going and your lack of understanding or disconnect from the fucking world and trying to get that, just take that a story. Like, just don't talk about anybody who's not me. Mm -hmm. And then she meant to post uh, <laughs> a link that led to like the actual, uh, like a, um, a way to teach your kids about sexuality. Right. But she typed it in and there's an error and it just led to a porn site. <laughs> And she just posted that up in the like, fact uh, it's so fucking funny to me because I love it. I love that you're such a dipshit that I, and I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't say what the error was. I don't know how many keystrokes she was off from what she was trying to reach <laughs> versus what she actually posted. But I love that you have just made this stand. You have dug your heels in on some bullshit and then you make a post that links to porn and then, like, uh, where she's at, she's not, like, forced to resign, even if she's voted against. Like, it's a whole process. She's um, got tenure or some shit. Yeah, whatever, man. But, like, this this particular article says that she did not leave. Like, she's trying to fucking stay. Of course you are. Yeah. You're pushing cr critical ra race theory bullshit. Yeah. Um, Standing firm, bro. Fucking got a gam. Of course you are. Uh, but this did remind me. Of some shit that uh, I went through in high school, and this is very real. I was in the computer lab in high school, and when you get done with your stuff, I'm, I'm do they even have like typing classes and shit anymore? Was that still a thing? <laughs> Remember those like those glasses they made you wear that had the like the wing underneath it, no. so you couldn't look down at your hands, no. Logan? Yeah, actually, they yeah, do that. yeah, yeah. So they, they have like dumb glasses that have a like a. Uh, a visor on the bottom of your eyes. Like you horse blinders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for for kids. Type blinders? Horse blinders for kids. Mm -hmm. But you can't look down at your hands and it tests your typing. But when you get through all of the different exercises, towards the end of class, you get to like play games, like uh, Elastomania or Elastoman, whatever that fucking motorcycle game was. Uh, or you could go to like different arcade shit online. But I remember that I had not, <laughs> I failed to get a government assignment done on time. So I was going to use the remaining 20 minutes of this typing class to get my government shit done and i typed in and i shit you not it was whitehouse.com mm, okay yep now i can't bring this up on the screen without censoring it but whitehouse.com is a fucking porn site mm -hmm. i think i knew that I, I, well i mean i, I mean i didn't know that <laughs> i've never heard of it well <laughs> tell me more joseph <laughs> but i don't know how many kids Figured this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click through here because we're over 18. Oh, it says coming soon. Maybe they got taken down. Anyway, it was not taken how down. Spell, how'd they spell coming soon? Uh, C-U-M-M. -M. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yes. No, it, it's normal coming. Oh. But um, <laughs> they've been working. I guess they're working on this for a bit. Uh, but I remember when you first went to it, it was not censored. It was fucking tits and puss. Mm. And I was sitting there and I typed it in and clicked enter and just fucking, it popped up and my heart stopped. I was like, fuck you. Oh, 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 shit. Like, how do I, how do I clear history? And I'm trying like, oh, just playing a, playing a motorcycle game. And I'm trying to get out of there as fast as I can. I, uh, but there, I know I, I can't be the only one, dude. Whitehouse.com in school. You have to have known what that was. Cause of course that's where you would go back when the internet was fairly new. Mm -hmm. You had to like type in the place you wanted to go to. And that's what like fired up that whole domain uh, craze where you just buy up mm -hmm. shit that you knew people would want and then sell it to them if they actually or they got it or don't sell it and then put ads on your site so then when they got there mm -hmm. yep well I remember I think it was 7th or 8th grade this would have been shit like 1997 98 somewhere in there mm -hmm. that's when the internet was real fresh and I remember we it was so fresh that we had during class like civics and law or whatever it was we got to sign up to get on the computer to go explore the internet. Mm -hmm. Like that was the thing. We were learning how to use the internet. And I remember I had some friends we were typing in like all these Disney things, stuff. And then one of it, we typed in Bambi.com <laughs> and it was not a deer. It was not a deer. No. Oh it, dear. It popped up and it was just, this <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. and the teacher was up writing on the, on the board. And you felt that the stare. The computer was, <laughs> no, he didn't notice, the, but the computer was in the front of the class. Mm -hmm. And also I was like, ah. <laughs> but it was one of those old teachers that was kind of like, he didn't oh, see shit. Oh, thank God. So, but every, I looked over and all the class was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm like, 
<laughs> you know, this is new. We don't yeah. know how to get out of the window and everything. I'm like, oh, fuck. I remember I just clicked <laughs> just the monitor it. off. Yeah. I clicked the monitor off and then pulled the plug. <laughs> and the teacher That's didn't see thinking. it. Yeah. That's smart thing. Teacher turned around. I Excuse me, what? Dude, I was so sweaty, though. Does, does somebody have a question? <laughs> yeah. Turn around. Like, Everyone's just going. <gasps> <laughs> Who said that? You're like, hey. Oh, oh that was me. <laughs> oh, hey, Officer Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then did you also know um, that if you go to canyoudon't.com instead of canyoudon'tpodcast.com, it's a Japanese port site. Oh. We found, uh, actually, Logan and I found that. We were trying to figure out what we're going to name. <laughs> we were like, okay, if we can get canyoudon'tpodcast.com, we should probably grab that. But then we looked at can you don't, <laughs> or if we could get it, we had to get can you don't com because can you don'tcom is a Japanese porn site. All right, let's move on. And you know, if you go to can you don't podcast.com, you can get that sick merch. Oh, there's a plug. Huh? What kind of plug? Get yourself the t-shirt get yourself or, a something. Shirt or something. Yeah. Tell your, Pay for our kids. Is, tell your family to come get one too. Fruit snacks. Tell your best friend to come here and get your fruit snacks. Yeah. Okay. What do you have for us, bud? What do I have for us? I have... Um, let me pull this up. I yeah, forgot me. to do that. Yeah, well, good job. All right. I this is kind of an interesting story. Um there was a there was a bunch of rumors going on that do you know what a furry is? Yes, of course I do. I love I them. didn't know what a furry was. Till when? Till I saw what? the story. Where have you been? All this porn talk, you don't know what a furry is? I don't get into like the weird stuff. I'm just like That's basic all I doggy, do. you know, like just Well, speaking of furry doggy. You yeah, but I don't want with animals. Oh. You know, I like hu- humans dog, human doggy. Logan, you knew what a furry was. Yeah, no, of course. God, oh, Brian. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm fucking almost 40. You don't fucking like dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. I just don't like <laughs> plowing dogs. Well, grow up. I like watching other do- like dogs <laughs> we're, do it, we're but aware. I don't want to fuck a dog. We're aware, Mr. Dolphins. <laughs> 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 fuck me. Um, all right. Pick so. me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> we get a it. Slipper, All right, go ahead. Faster than lightning. <laughs> All right, Nebraska state senator retracts claim about schools giving students litter boxes. <laughs> okay, great. I know so, where this is going. Let's do it. I don't even. I'm not going to read this thing. But basically, what happened? And there was a few different sites. Basically, what happened was there was these rumors going around that um, that these kids were identifying as cats and dogs and stuff in the schools, and that they were asking for litter boxes. <laughs> Hmm. And that the school weren't they weren't providing litter boxes, so the kids <laughs> just started shitting in the hallways and in the classrooms <laughs> and all over the place. God damn! And then so a rumor started that the schools were going to allow um, they were going to allow furries, like furries, to have litter boxes because mm-hmm. these people that identified as yeah. cats and dogs. Gotcha. And this guy didn't do any. And there was a few other teachers. They didn't do any research to see if this was real or not. Right. They just started running on this platform that see now <laughs> the liberals are uh, saying that the kids should be able to do you know get right. litter boxes and stuff. So then it started this whole rumor that wasn't true. Mm-hmm. And it's, I just find it hilarious because I was thinking about all the things that y- you could say that you identified for mm-hmm. and start make asking for special requests for those things. <laughs> right. So like <laughs> if you could identify as a gorilla mm-hmm. and now and that you're going to school i'm a gorilla and i need <laughs> how come you, how come you didn't get your homework done <laughs> yeah you you don't <laughs> exactly. oh okay okay yeah, yeah. Uh, understood uh-huh. <laughs> 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 fucking snap your pencil in half and yeah. shove it up your butt <laughs> start throwing your shit on the, at, at <laughs> okay, kids okay. at recess you're like <laughs> I identify as a monkey you, you didn't get your thesis done <laughs> did you say feces done or thesis done thesis Okay, I thought you said you didn't get your feces done. <laughs> no, feces done. You're thinking about that. Because I guess hit you in the face with some shit. <laughs> which is very... My thesis was on feces. My thesis was on... Okay. Thes- Close enough. Yeah, that's, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. <laughs> anyway, so is there like a... I mean, what... It could be anything. Like, it could be an animal. It could be you identify as... A brick. Yeah, a brick. And you're like, <laughs> I want some mortar. <laughs> I'm like, can I, can I have cement? <laughs> what? Oh my what god! I, what I Mexican, cement was Mexican pizza again. Can I have some fucking oh, cement? Oh, the gorilla gets to throw his shit around. All I ask for is a little Mexican pizza. <laughs> right. And, and then, so you have like a guy, a gorilla that's asking for <laughs> Mexican pizza. He, he wants to be able to throw his shit around. Uh-huh. You have this other thing asking for Mexican pizza, uh-huh. and then you have all these people arguing like, "Well, he gets to throw his shit. How come I don't get Mexican pizza?" <laughs> right. And then you have now you had just have this full on thing where everyone's like, "God damn, the identifying is all sorts of shit." Like everyone identifies <laughs> as something different. It is making a special request. 
So now if you're a school board, <laughs> who gets, do you have to say, okay, you can identify only as what you, like a boy and a girl, whatever mm-hmm. you are, or do you start allowing all this? Because uh-huh. when people say like, it's a slippery slope, yeah. he can start throwing feces. <laughs> You'd have to go. He's shitting in a litter box. The idea of identifying as an, 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 or an inanimate object fucking kills me yeah we're like you're walking like i'm a fucking stapler uh-huh so everybody in class like hey did you have a stapler no go see john mm-hmm. and he just has a stapler mm-hmm. and just stand in the corner like just reach their paper size like <laughs> 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 that's, all, that's all he does he shows up and he just staples fucking papers together because he's a motherfucking stapler and he's the he, valedictorian he's the best stapler <laughs> yeah. that school has ever seen I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you're going to be, if you're going to be, do, if you're going to be something, you want to be the best at that thing, right? So he's the best best stapler stapler ever. West Valley's ever seen. Mm -hmm. He would be a staple of that school. (laughs) Yeah. Right. He would set the tone. Keep shit together. Set the tone. That'd be a printer. Yeah. You get it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You get it. Yeah. Everyone's just identifying (laughs) as like a piece of office equipment. (laughs) Right, dude. That'd be the best, dude. (laughs) Coffee maker. (gasps) Like, no, I have a class of 25 people. Unfortunately, only two are humans. Yeah. The other three are office appliances. (laughs) We've got a lamp here. (laughs) Printer. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Every, they all make this sound like uh, modem <laughs> <laughs> they all make the sounds of what those objects Stapler. make <laughs> click 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 <laughs> three Compu- hole punch <laughs> Uh, what is a computer starting up like a which one uh, like a Microsoft computer? Oh, my- bling, bling, bling. Like Microsoft. Mi- There's like computer in oh, here. Mac. Bling, bling, bling. No, it's just like that. It's like that uh, THX vibe. Yeah, Windows ninety five is the one I always think about. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, everyone's gonna remember that when you didn't realize your speakers were on and you yeah. restarted Windows ninety five. Yeah, you're just like. It was so f- you're like Jesus Christ! You turned down those like on the computer, weird yeah. tower speakers that mm-hmm. everyone had. Everybody had those because mm-hmm. like you had weird... LimeWire or Napster. Mm-hmm. Remember when you you download the song that said like Metallica featuring Linkin Park featuring <laughs> Alice in Chains <laughs> featuring featuring Rage Against the Machine? You're like, Remix. dude, this is gonna be the best song I've ever heard. And your computer's like, virus, <laughs> right? virus. Damn it! <laughs> Got me again. Wait. Of that, course, you mean that, that did- wasn't that didn't really happen. Of course, that didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna move on to petty beef. I All think right. we have a pretty good one this week. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, yep. let's roll it. Logan, silence in the court. You are now entering the petty beef courtroom, where all sides of some bullshit will be heard and evaluated. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final-ish. This is petty beef. Okay, we're going to do one case this week, Okay, because we've talked about my dad dying for too long. <sighs> Logan, set it up, baby. A woman that goes by Crazy Ferret Lady in Spokane <laughs> thinks men need to learn how to flush the toilet halfway through dropping a dirty snake. <laughs> the men in her house think that's overkill and insist that only one flush is needed. Okay. What do you guys think? That's, a, that's interesting, because I see the logic. Dude... Sitting in a fucking, <laughs> there are some poops that could kill people. Well, you don't leave it. You fl- no, and well, she's okay. saying she's saying the remnants are staying. no. I think she's saying that you are you are you're dropping a couple a couple kids off at the pool, right? Okay. And they hit the water and they're having they're in swim class mm-hmm. and splashing then, around, splashing have a around. Good time. And the second you know the two mains are out or three main whatever you're dropping, you flush it. Before yeah, I get you, before that. you finish, just get the stink out. Yeah. And then and then you'll wipe up and you do one more flush on the back end as a like a final flush. So it's a double It's the final no flush day. <laughs> Loud toilets are scary. Dude, that would be Imagine that. You flush the toilet. <laughs> it's a final flush. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it's not the final flush? That's the, that's that's, that's the, a programming error. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be different lyrics for the one in between. Okay, uh, crazy ferret lady I feel like what? I, I just feel like well, just say it. No, I don't even know what I was going to say. say. Like I, just, I don't. Brian, even, I don't even know. We are, the, anybody just, that's crazy you're something. Like, hold on, you just set this up. You're like, I don't. Okay, one second. Hear me out, crazy ferret lady. Mm, you I shouldn't mother, have to say anything. You motherfucker. <laughs> if you were here right now, I would say, I don't even know. I don't I even know s- what I would say. <laughs> You, I the, wouldn't say this to your face. I wouldn't say this to your face. You're crazy. You're, You're crazy, crazy ferret, ferret lady. lady. Oh, let's live and let live, baby. And, and I mean, anybody that's a crazy something <laughs> lady, 
<laughs> she's got weird ideas anyway, right? I, I don't no, she's, I don't think that she's weird. Why here. is it? Why is she in the bathroom with them when they're shitting? Is she? Why does she care when they flush? And where's her ferrets? Yeah. Am I going to flush are a they ferret? sneaking underneath the, the door? How many ferrets are in there? Am I going to accidentally flush a ferret down the toilet? That's why I don't flush till the end. Are the ferrets getting in there and eating the shit? Are the, the ferrets, gr- are the ferrets you know, in my butt? Okay, so here's a scenario that's probably happening. <laughs> Whoever's in the house is shitting, yeah. and it's leaving streaks on the toilet. Mm-hmm. The ferrets are getting in there, and they're eating the streaks off the toilet. Or they're rolling on it like a dog yeah. would. Oh, that's a problem. At least they're cleaning it up. <laughs> You're blaming the ferrets? Okay, so I, I think this is more about stinky, like, d- dirty snake. It's a ch- shit. It's going to stink. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Uh, I'm I, getting <laughs> mad at Crazy Fairly through you because I feel like you're sticking up for this lady. I am because you're fucking dumb and you don't have to listen about the, the, there's logic here. There's logic. You tell me the logic. That you don't want to make everything stink so fucking bad that you walk in there and, <laughs> have you, you gag your kids with your shit? Well, if they're gonna, if they're gonna come sit in the bathroom while, while I'm trying to take a shit, how many bathrooms do you have? Uh, one and a half. Right. So there's a there's a favorite. There's a favorite bathroom. Yeah. There's a downstairs main. Yeah. Okay. So there's a favorite that everybody would like to prefer to poop in. Yeah. Right. It's more comfortable. It's yeah. Not, and no I have a tushy vibes. in there so I can wa- rinse my butt. Oh, bidet. Yeah. <laughs> you can turn it's it never off. a bad day with a bidet. That's what they say. Yeah. They sponsor us. Tushy? Yeah. Tushy, Tushy you out there? They sponsor. Okay, I need one for my upstairs bathroom. They sponsor podcasts. Let's do it. They can Let's do get it. Them Tushy, on get over here, man. I'll spray your water in my Woo. butthole. I love um, it. You turn the bidet on like while you're shitting. I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's like, pushing it back up <laughs> in your butt. <laughs> Just watering your logs. Mm hmm. Like a water fucking... logs. Getting... <laughs> <laughs> See your toilet's getting waterlogged. Just a weird fucking, what, lumberjack? No, so g- explain <laughs> to me why she's right. Because it's stinky. I think it's situational. There's certain, there's certain poop. <laughs> Did I just put a W in there? Poops. poops. There's, cer- there's certain poops that <laughs> that if <laughs> that are so bad yeah. that I do, and I, I'm not a stranger to the courtesy flush. I've done it. I've done it. Logan, get the fuck in here. Yeah, man. Uh, courtesy flush. You in? Yes. Okay. okay. But but I mean, okay. I feel like different people shit in different ways. Mm. Like for me, <laughs> is this, is this, Dr. Is this a Dr. Dr. Seuss book? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this dude's going in there and he's letting like a fucking toilet bowl full, just a banger, and then just camping for twenty minutes, leaving it, <laughs> just, that's a different story. Just but. blowing mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I know, like, okay, I've got like two, like you said, mains. If I've got, <laughs> if I've got an A main and then a B main, <laughs> I'll definitely flush the A main before I drop the B main. But yeah, I guess it's situational. Like, if you know you're going to be on the toilet for more than fucking ten minutes, let that. Uh, first I'm on the toilet for go. more than ten minutes every time. I'm sitting in there because you're avoiding games. your family. Yes, exactly. When you're when you become a parent you'd do anything just to get away for a minute that's apparent um apparently <laughs> um here's here's where i stand on this where's where well, i you, sit you on also, this you also stand away where, so. where is it? uh yeah i do fucking you're <laughs> goddamn right and i'll i'll die on that fucking you'll mountain. die fucking standing up fall um, over you fucking here's weirdo. my sits on this not my stance my sits gotcha um f- first of all i want to see the final creation Oh, like it's a like painting. Yeah, like I'm gonna I'm gonna sign Bob Ross that shit. Like if I if I know it's, if I know it's gonna be a doozy and I flush the first half, I don't get to, I don't get to look back and enjoy like, like what coiler. I created. It's like the Tom Hay- the Castaway. Look what I have created. Right, I have created. Yeah, but if I flush the first half, well, it's not that impressive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just thought of a funny idea. Yeah. Two ways to look at this. Number one, paint by numbers toilet paper doesn't okay. exist. That's funny. Other one is to have a toilet uh, have a toilet that has paint by numbers like engraved on mm, the bowl. Yeah. And so you can just kind of if you spray paint in the right direction, you can just kind of point you your, just angle around. Point your pop yeah. around, poop around and paint a horse. I mean, if you're going to I'm surprised we don't have some like like everything has to be turned into Honey! something that's entertaining, you know? <laughs> Honey, come take a look at this. Yeah. Like you're trying to paint a beautiful sunset. Dude, I've I've taken Your so many diet. pictures of shits. When I was in college, we st- we started a website called um, turdconnoisseur.com. No, and it, we would send like on br- we had at Brown Fridays. It was the th- Thanksgiving. Everyone would send their shits in. <laughs> we put them up on the website. We had all sorts of. We had like Mount Turdsmore. We had everything. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, that's so good. Okay, so like, it, it's all about the creation. Yeah, it's all yeah, yeah. about, but also, okay. So that's just a ridiculous. Some people think that's ridiculous. Some people love it. Mm-hmm. But here's a here's a, a thing that I think is just kind of makes sense. Guys dangle balls mm. 
So if you flush... <laughs> Is that a if, dodgeball team? If you've got <laughs> the ball danglers, if you've got <laughs> balls that dangle, yeah. and so if you're in there shitting and then you flush, if you have got like one of those toilets, it's like... Like an airplane toilet? Yeah, it's it shoots water up and now you're getting poop water oh, on your balls. Fuck yeah. So... You know, call, that, you, call that lube, baby. So, <clears throat> I mean, for sanitary reasons. <laughs> and then now I'm sta- now I have to get up off the toilet and flush. You're already standing to wipe. Yeah, but I don't want to stand before I wipe at the end. You're I don't, used to doing squats. I don't want to stand up and smush it on my cheeks and then make my job harder just, at the end. <laughs> just fucking poopy squats over here. Look at you. Brian poopy squats, all brand. <laughs> Are you fucking happy? With yourself? Like, what if, do you want? What if if I'm working out, I don't want to be freaking... Have my balls wet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, a, what a gym shirt that would be. <laughs> I'm running on the treadmill with just poopy, poopy your, mud water. Your shirt says, here to work out without my balls being wet. <laughs> you know, I came here to work out and all I got was a shitty t-shirt. <laughs> all I got was shitty balls. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's look at some good news real quick. Are you ready? So I think I'm right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, roll it, Logan! Crazy fair. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hooray, we aren't doomed. Yeah! (laughs) God damn, dude, I'm having fun. It's a fun episode. So, (laughs) hooray, we're not doomed. And I think we're actually, because of time limits, we have some good stuff. I'm not going to get to it after this because I don't want to rush the back end of this episode. We'll just carry it over to episode eight. Okay. But we're going to do, we'll give you some happy news. Then we're going to get right to some listener emails. Then we'll wrap it up for this week because something I found on the internet deserves more time and I don't want to squish it in here on the back end of this, okay? So here's some good news. Woman discovers the vintage skates she bought online belonged to her 40 years ago. Wow. Can you imagine this shit? Wow. I, I, I'm putting herself, I put myself in her shoes, her skates. <laughs> <laughs> you had me rolling with that one. <laughs> Backwards. Tricks. Uh, While growing put the up, brakes on this joke. <laughs> toe heel. Toe drag. While growing up in Nova Scotia, Renee Forrestal loved roller skating. Enjoying the peace and quiet that came as she sped around and uh, past the waterfront. She sold her beloved skates 40 years ago during a yard sale, but always regretted it. So to celebrate her 60th birthday, she recently decided to pick up the hobby and, uh, you know, go skating once again. As she explained on TikTok, good for her fucking just popping back on TikTok at 60. Yeah. It's not for kids. Forrestal didn't like the new skates that she bought, and after returning them, set off to find some vintage skates. She began browsing online and discovered a pair of old skates that had just uh, had just been put up for sale two hours earlier. The seller wasn't sure of the size, but Forrestal liked them and looked at them. They looked just like their original pair that she had, and she bought them. When they arrived at her home, it was a Cinderella slipper moment, she told today. Uh, it, it soon became clear why they fit her perfectly. Her name was written inside each skate. She couldn't believe it that her old skates had found their way back to her four decades later. It reeled me right back to my youth, Forrestal said. How fucking... That's pretty cool. God, that'd be a trip. And I don't know where she bought them from. I don't know how far they traveled. They could have been on like Facebook market. Who, for Same all I know, town. For all I know, it could have been her mom and <laughs> made her buy them back. I don't mm-hmm. fucking know for sure. But I love the idea... Of just, um, like you lose touch with these things as you just grow up and you grow older. Like, I, I mean, for me personally right now, I've lost touch with music. I don't fucking make music anymore. I haven't for years. Uh, but I do plan on eventually getting back into it. Yeah, we're and, starting a band. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, country band? Yep. Parked out by the lake. Um, but if I sold my music equipment or like one of my favorite guitars, and I was like, I guess I need the money right now. And I got rid of my custom tailor and just fucking took off. And then... Sorry, I got the hiccups. Jesus Four, Christ. So I know. Fuck off, man. Mm. And then 40 years later, <laughs> I bought the same guitar. I was like, oh my God, I wanted to have a, a cu- guitar just like that. And I bought my own guitar back mm-hmm. at 60. Like, fuck, I still can't play this one. Oh my God, I'm still terrible. You're still bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who tuned this thing? <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been tuned in 40 years. <laughs> it's, it's perfectly in tune. I up. didn't tune me, it me, back. Me, 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 <laughs> It's still the same tuning as it was back then, not in tune. It's dropping. It, it's in drop A sharp. Yeah, you're which playing is Slipknot. What, <laughs> <laughs> my actually this is a funny and not that funny if you're a musician you might find this entertaining but my acoustic song for every song that i wrote for moretta my hardcore band i would say 99 percent of them i wrote on an acoustic guitar so my acoustic guitar is in drop a that's insane a flat and it has acoustic 64 gauge Ugh. strings how does it stay in tune uh, i just uh, adjusted my guitar because i'm not a fucking idiot brian oh anyway 
You can do that? Yeah, you can loosen the neck and make sure it doesn't ruin it. Did you know how to do anything? No. No. No, so you just loosen that up so it doesn't bend it and fucking break it. But it's so funny. Anyone else playing it, <laughs> you tune it up to a normal like key signature, like, I don't know, fucking standard. And you play it, and they are so tight. <laughs> you're like Jesus Christ you have to like push your fingers as hard as you can into the neck to to hit the fretboard because they're just the strings are so big you're gonna have to show this to me no oh, okay I don't know where it's play uh, me a song I don't know how to play music I want anymore. you to play me like a, a folk song and drop A play me out baby like what it's like you and me going fishing in the dark but it's just like you and me going fishing in the dark fishing in the dark Cutting the stars. I want to hear a full hardcore, like a metal band yeah. with just acoustic guitars, <laughs> but still growling, pig squealing, and everything. But it's acoustic guitars. It exists. Let's write that. Let's it's do out there. No, it's not. Is it? I fucking, we're doing it. What? We're starting it. We're gonna. We're gonna do it, and then you'll look it up and realize it exists. But we'll do that after. We'll the show. do it better. That's fine. See, I'm, I'm. I'm on board. I. So I know how you feel about this stuff because I actually keep. I've kept so much of the stuff that I had as a mm-hmm. kid. And I'm so glad I did. I just threw away my childhood cleats. Yeah, that was my, dumb. My baseball cleats. Yeah, that was dumb. I still have my first. They had Paisley on the back and everything. I, I still have my first away. mitt, baseball mitt. Mm-hmm. that I had Harold Reynolds, who played with the Mariners in the 80s. <sighs> One of my first Mariners games. God damn. Uh, I went, I still have that mitt. And you can still see like a subtle. I know. Uh, um, and I just kept it all. And everyone thought I was like, just do I get rid of this stuff. I'm like, no. And now I have a room <laughs> that I have. I have all my po- my childhood posters. <laughs> All these, all, so many toys, my my Hot Wheels, my micro machines, yeah. and then my kids have destroyed them. Uh, I, just, I kept them pristine. I can picture you going out now playing men's league or like adult softball, and you have the same glove you had to mm-hmm. nine. It's a tiny fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's sentimental. Put it in. <laughs> Try, it's Give a, him the heat, burner. <laughs> a big like, old softball with a, a tiny <laughs> mitt. <laughs> Can't even catch it. <laughs> You're better off catching with your bare hands. It's all you do anyway. You just keep tapping your fucking yeah. tiny ass glove. <laughs> yeah, just like all getting ready for the fall. <laughs> you got me. Hey, bad about it. Hey, bad about it. Swing. It's a tiny ass glove. <laughs> <laughs> that Kermit could wear. <laughs> I'm gonna play left. No team. batter, no batter. Somebody like, said I sounded like Kermit. Shit. They said I sound like a cross between John C. Riley and Kermit. <laughs> 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 I can see it a little bit. I can hear it. I got a little Harold Ramis going on. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> he goes, hey, welcome, to, hey, welcome to Can You Don't, guys. <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> Hey, Biggie. You know, I'm going to fuck me, <laughs> Mr. Biggie, tonight, boy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I feel, like, I feel like some bacon tonight, guys. <laughs> How's that current impression? Uh, Is it not bad? Got to work on it. Yeah. Uh, it sounds good in my ears. <laughs> I bet it does, because that's how you sound normally. It kind of sounds like going, ah, you know? <laughs> That's how I... <laughs> wow, I sound just like Kermit. <laughs> I'm sweaty. God damn! Oh, I'm having fun this episode. All right, so Logan, you got that. We're skipping ahead to the emails. You got it? Let's fucking do it if you got it. Roll it. Oh, Logan's, oh, fuck, I had Logan's God, jerking off out it. there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, okay, I tried to like paint it out the best. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, and what we're going to do is we're going to yeah. skip the next segment. <laughs> He's trying to get Logan. You look how sweaty you are. Look I at your give shirt. I fuck. I've been laughing so hard. <laughs> you were in a white shirt. You, I, you well, escaped. Because I, uh, I'm plain white tees. <laughs> Logan, okay, play yeah. this shit whenever yeah, you got it. Logan, are you hey alive? Guys. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Hey you guys! <laughs> All right, let's hear what you guys think. Really? You want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. Dude, it is like a the how many how many it's wonders like of the world are there in here? How many uh, wonders of the world? Eight. Cool. The ninth wonder is how this room goes from cold to fucking. No, the ninth wonder is China. Oh. What? From wrestling? China? No. The wrestler? No, you're a wrestling fucking guy. Mm-hmm. You, have to, you have to start your own subgroup. Yes. Yeah. Wrest- <laughs> uh, yeah, wrestling subgroup. Let's do it. All right. Fuck yeah, dude. Right. Drag it into the show, baby. Yeah. So we got two pretty short emails to get through today, and bo- but both are fucking amazing. Okay. This first email is coming in from our son, Connor, who ran away years ago and lives at a, in a tent on the edge of the neighborhood. He I says, know that area. I know. He goes, hey guys, loyal dummy and now loyal son, Connor. I just listened to episode five with the story of a dad throwing his daughter into a ceiling fan and decided to share this little story with my adopted dads. Oh, Connor. God, it's good to hear from you, man. You're our favorite, Connor. How'd you get a phone? Is it a burner? One time when I was five, I had a toy plane and was running down the hall making my plane fly, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. 
Well, my dad was, and is pretty is a pretty ripped guy. And so, <laughs> so was his friend who was there at the time. My dad picked me up and threw I me down. That, I heard that as he was getting ripped. Oh, like so, high, high guy. Yeah. So, but he's he's <laughs> There's strong. There's my dad, high as fuck. He's str- yeah. he's strong, and, and his, his friend and his friend are both strong guys. Okay. My dad picked me up and threw me down our 15 foot hallway to his friend who caught me, and then he threw me back. They did this for about three minutes without issue until my dad threw me into the ceiling halfway across. <laughs> my head and back went through the ceiling. Oh my god! God, quit fucking roids. <laughs> Roid Come on, rage. son. I'll make you a plane. <laughs> I'm going to make you a winner yet. I'm going to make you a pilot. Get the fuck over here. <laughs> <laughs> no sort of stunt of- devil. <laughs> right. Uh, no license needed. <laughs> so he went through the ceiling and fell head first into the floor. I was in no pain and didn't even cry until my dad came rushing up to me and realized I was supposed to be crying. Mm-hmm. He took me to the hospital. Uh, I was put in a neck and chest cast. I Damn. hope this story was entertaining. <laughs> well, fucking cliffhanger. Like he, like he's just writing this by, by voice. Yeah, like yeah. that would be the worst. He's like, anyway, uh, Stephen Hawking yeah. has never thrown me down a hallway again. <laughs> like, anyway, I have no use of any limbs. <laughs> right. Have, hope you guys found this story very funny. That's why the the grammar's bad because it's <laughs> right. uh, dictated. I hope this story was entertaining for y'all because it certainly is for me. My dad still feels guilty after all these years. Uh, later. He was high as shit, <laughs> dude. I love y'all and hope to see our old dad Dan. On show for a bonus episode soon. That'd be a lot of fun. That'd be fun. Keep up the good work, Connor. God damn, dude. Can you imagine throwing your kid hard enough? You have to whip. I mean, you can imagine throwing your kid into a lamp. Yeah. Or like a a, a nightstand. uh, Maybe. So you get kind of imagine what that's like. I get it. I get how it happens. Yeah. (laughs) And one is like, don't fucking wake me up. But in this case, it looks like everyone participating was awake and aware. Um, and it was consensual. Consensual consensual roof throwing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our second piece of mail here is coming in from stepson Ziggy, who fell asleep on the school bus and never came back home. Mm. They write, hey, it's dummy Z, keep it up. You're, you make work bearable. So I was a manager at McDonald's on the night shift when I was 21. I took a lot of pride in being the youngest manager at the time and having the highest income store in the country. One county. night, county. <laughs> that, that, that was like, fuck, Z. That's a big... Killing yeah. it. <laughs> County, sorry. One night, I went into the freezer because it was hot as balls. God, I wish I could go to fucking freezer mm-hmm. right now. And found an employee oh. wiping his ass with a bun. <laughs> like, can you just don't? Oh, good drop, baby. Not knowing what to do, I locked him in the freezer and called the cops. Here's where this shit irks me. Turned out he did it because his ex-girlfriend and her new man were ordering. It was disgusting and I was pissed. A week later, I was fired because of their, quote, isn't a good enough reason to ever lock an employee in a freezer for an hour. (laughs) Please yell, Logan, for me. Love all the work you guys do. Jeez, man. Could you imagine like the deposition where your honor you're explaining <laughs> like why you did it or z sends us in for a petty beef uh-huh. yeah <laughs> i was fired yeah for locking someone in a freezer who was gonna what he was gonna do what with the buns uh well, he wiped it on his ass right. to, to sell to his ex and then her new boyfriend so we're just gonna look past that <laughs> i know uh but from like a legal standpoint they both are probably they sh- both probably got fired. Both if he would have said they like the other guy kept his job because he didn't technically do it because he got locked in a freezer. Mm-hmm. He was going to do it, but he, he didn't gonna, do but it. he didn't. Right. So it's all circum- or cir- circumstantial evidence? Circumcision. Circumstantial. Circum- Circumcision evidence. Circumcision evidence. It's there's the skin. The skin of the teeth. You got to got right. by the skin of his penis. <laughs> right. the skin of his penis. <laughs> Circumcision <laughs> evidence, baby. He got, he got off by <laughs> the, the skin, skin of his penis. penis. <laughs> Fucking skinned it out, baby. <laughs> That's why they call it a skin flu. Right. <laughs> What? Nailed it. Um, that's, that's it. I, that just fucking blew my mind. Um, well, I'm sorry you got fired. Good job being the best in the world. I think is what it said. Best, f- highest selling restaurant in the world. Yeah, that's impressive. Is what I heard. Oh, Galaxy. I'm going back and oh, reading it right now. Yeah, wow. highest. Yeah, highest sales in the entire galaxy. So, that's something. <sighs> that's, imp- <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive. Uh, <laughs> it- <laughs> I was going to make a Milky Way joke. And then, <laughs> You're like, how do I, I tie like, a candy bar like, into this fucking story? Like, and then I realized and, I couldn't. I was like, <laughs> done. 
<laughs> I guess like eh, eh, but <laughs> just hitting all the vowels. <laughs> eh, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes we eh, sometimes we eh. <laughs> um, okay, Logan, I love you, buddy. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Logan. You kill it today, man. Producing Good job and directing. On the, uh, the merch. Yep. Yeah, go, man, thank go, you. go check out the new merch right now at canyoudon'tpodcast.com. If you want to see Japanese porn, you can go to canyoudon't.com. Don't go there. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. God damn, we need some more followers. Where the fuck are you guys? Can you don't podcast? Search for it on Instagram and Facebook. Of course, we got the Patreon. Thank Make you sure guys. to like and review the show. Or don't. Or, d- or, or do. Least, or, uh, well, if you're if you hate it, ugh, don't want to point you there. It's gonna it's gonna sting. Yeah. But if you enjoy the show, head on over there. And don't do any of this three star as a joke give us five stars <laughs> and then do the three star joke and then make the three star joke but then actually give us a five i know we got dropped down we have a couple people that were like best podcast i've ever heard three out of five stars and then gave us three yeah they thought it was funny i was <laughs> like, like no that doesn't help it's like, no you're killing us bro yeah just write that you're in the comment me, write it in the comment but <laughs> right yeah absolutely maybe they thought it was three though yeah i mean they can go back and change it you can do that you yeah, can do your shit go back and change it you fucking asshole stupid um, kid <laughs> and then sign up for Patreon. Thank you, everybody who is supporting us right now. The link is in the, the episode description. Um, that's 100% the way that you can make sure the show keeps going. If there's something you want to see on the show, email that in to Can You Don't Podcast. Sorry, hey guys, at Can You Don't Podcast.com. And then we're just going to wrap this shit up right now because we're going, we're going pretty long. I thought you were showing your nipples. What are you doing? Huh? I can. Oh, no. That, I, no. Oh, you don't want me I'm to. not paying you to. Okay. Uh, Logan, wrap it up, baby. <laughs> Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Because I, I do enjoy this one. It's a fact that I think that you being an animal lover and a fucker of You being an animal fucker. I mean lover. <laughs> lover. Uh, this was sent in by our 875th smartest, our smartest daughter, Melissa. Are you ready Good to- Good for her. I know. She's, she's moving up. He's, <laughs> she is. Did you know- This blew my fucking mind. Did you know a male giraffe will continuously headbutt the female in the bladder until she urinates? The male then tastes the pee, and that helps him determine whether the female is ovulating. <laughs> Fucking. He's like, hey. Dude, can you imagine if we did that? If you were, like, you're like, hey, are you serious about having a baby? Yeah. Boom, and just fucking just kneel down and head butter well, in the fucking bladder. I know sometimes it, like we'll, piss, be, we'll be laying in piss, bed piss, and my wife piss. will be like, oh, I got to pee, but I don't want to get up and I'll start pushing on her bladder. <laughs> get her, get out just, of here. But imagine she does that and, and then, then I, fall, I followed her into the bathroom <laughs> and started lapping it up while she was pissing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Is this the, is, are you ready for me? <laughs> God. Fucking, what a weird thing, man. Well, I guess I'm not going back to sleep. <laughs> oh, I guess you're not ready. <laughs> oh, you keep saying Do you I want not more. turn you on? <laughs> I keep, you keep saying you want more kids. Clearly you don't. Could as you're you, wiping piss off your mustache. You imagine you're just going, <laughs> what, you don't find me attractive anymore? <laughs> you're wiping her piss off your piss face. off your face. Man, I but, don't do it for you anymore. But on the ground level pretty smart yeah pretty smart if there's something <laughs> animals know it's in their dna man they mm-hmm. know what to do they're not, other people aren't doing it so giraffes are either ahead of the game or fucking way behind humans you know? are such prudes <laughs> all right i want to suck your piss what <laughs> all right logan we'll see you guys next week wrap it up baby <laughs> <laughs>